there were some questions in my previous video about why I deleted the ISO inter configuration when I was laying out the components for the PCB. So let's try to combine the ANSI and ISO configurations for both soldered and hot swap uh, PCBs. So for the soldered PCB, if we combine these layouts, you'll see that there aren't many conflicts, right? You have the screw stat, the screw holes that you know kind of overlap these holes for the switches, but it's not really an issue. The only thing we need to do is flip the ANSI pipe key around so that its solder points aren't conflicting with a screw hole for the ISO enter key. For the hot swap layout, if we try to combine these, we have a few more conflicts. We have this conflict of the hot swap socket for this ISO 1U key with the screw hole for the ANSI enter. So we just flip the socket and that resolves that issue. Now we get to this uh, ANSI pipe key and this is also conflicting with the screw hole for the ISO stabilizer. So we can flip that as well. But now we have the situation where the ISO enter socket and the ANSI pipe socket are overlapping. Um, you can try to remedy this by rotating the ISO enter and then the ANSI pipe um, so they are facing away from each other. But then you have the issue of 90 degree rotated switches, right? And you, then you'd also have to rotate this 90 degrees and, and the chain continues, right? So let me bring up an image of an MX switch. Okay. On the MX switch, you have this cross where there's a thinner portion going vertically and a horizontal portion going, uh, it's thicker. So when you rotate them 90 degrees, uh, a keycap that is made with this kind of asymmetrical cross will be damaged by a rotated key switch. So for that reason, I don't want to rotate key switches. And again, for that reason, I deleted the ISO enter. Um, now you can just uh, rotate the ANSI pipe, but then you'd have to choose whether to solder on the ANSI pipe hot swap socket or the ISO enter hot swap socket. And the other solution is to delete the, the ISO stabilizer entirely, and then have ISO just be plate mount stabilizer. So there are multiple solutions here, but for cleanliness and for not wanting to use plate mount stabilizers, I decided to delete the ISO configuration entirely.